skip. Much to do here. Definitely not locking. Stags. Oh. Stag doesn't get good until there's what, like five or six units in play? Hopefully Pup doesn't have a support yet. So I'll grab this now, next turn can be Stag Dragon. And then I'll have two Stags supported by Good Witch with a Dragon in the back. Pretty solid pickup. Grab the prince instead. Eh. It's better if the stag doesn't get to attack. As long as I stop losing life, I'm in pretty good shape. The baby dragon's better at not losing life. But yeah. How's everybody doing tonight? Do we know when the new patch hits? Nope. Usually on... You usually do it on Mondays, right? But I don't know if it's going to be next Monday or the Monday after or what. Ugh. Patch seems fun. Yeah! Looking forward to trying it out. LSB said it was a week or two away. Okay. Um. I don't really want to buy a Sleeping Princess, and this lets me buy two things. When is the, the tournament? Is it next weekend? January qualifier... 29th to 30th. No, okay, two weeks. Let's do this. I'm gonna sell the dragon to Eeny Meeny. Godmother? Oh. We go Godmother and Juliet next turn. Helps make sure the Nutcracker procs. If this full procs, I can go Godmother Arthur. Not impossible for Nutcracker to full proc here. Not super likely against Merlin. They tend to have a good amount of attack, but could be a bunch of black cats. We're buying the Arthur. That worked out pretty well. Uh, bulls gold. Bulls 
household. Second Julia. I don't think I'm locking for any of this. I'd buy second Arthur, but I don't think I want to just pick up random royals. I just do this so that they have attack when they're getting all the godmother boosts. Dragon's got hat ball already. Interesting. Oh, right. Uh, this. This is what natural for one picking up the hippo. I've got fool's gold though. Fool's gold plays really nice with this unit. Mother is a pretty cute combo. Sporko. I'm going Godmother. Here's the second hippo. Here's the fairies. I'm taking out for this. Just drop the Godmother. I just drop the Arthur. And Arthur's not doing that much. Pretty sure I want to play it. This is probably not going in until level six. Don't mind the hippo. If it was a little bigger, I would. I don't want to get a one shot. This has gone well. Combine. Doesn't look like it's happening. You got a lance. Even more life, but eh. just pop this in. It's 
Pretty big. If I wasn't going to six, I'd probably lock this, just for the three animals. But now I need to find, like, an elm. Fairy is actually putting in work. Denied the wish too. The Sphinx is only XP as well. Not buying Bearstein. You cannot make me. Could be a good boy board. I'm in fool's gold though. Yeah. There we go. So the problem with the Midas is I won't be buffing the fairies a bunch. Fine. We need six of shields. Toad instantly putting work. Yeah. Toad is great for this comp. Well, Toad is good for this comp. It gets me stuff together, but I can't buy hippo food anymore. I guess specifically in Hippo, Toad is worse than it would normally be, but generally this comp's looking for a bunch of sixes. No lordy yet. Yeah, and it is still growing a little bit, with the, as long as I leave the baby bear in. Maybe I can consider picking up a Grumblegore. Just to get this uh, good witch out of play. Interesting. Don't need this. Could just sell these and buy the pigs too. See it. Six six Storm King. Yeah, probably not gonna focus on tripling anything. <laughs> I don't think there's any more random junk I'd wanna buy. General 3, it made you laugh. If you weren't around for the the Witcher season one days, <laughs> it won't make sense. I believe he's talking about the don't talk about Netflix casting decisions rule.
but upgrades, I guess. Probably not buying a paired Grumblegore. Play this instead of there. I mean, what I can do this. I think I'm scaled enough. I think against Pup, I want to keep scaling though. Maybe we'll do this just to give the SF a little bit more attack. But yeah, 25 life. I could probably value scaling. are added over time. Not every patch adds a hero, but most do. So exactly what their plans are with the uh, hero patches are a little hard to figure out. Let's me put the elm in the back. Let's take the tree. Let's take that out. Hey, that's why. Hey, what are they doing? Rotations. I don't think they're doing explicit rotations. I think the plan is just they're going to keep patching the game, and as they want to add stuff, they'll take stuff out. <laughs> Did the friendly spirit just directly bump the Echo in twice? Three times? <laughs> Poor trophy hunter. Yeah, it probably is. It probably is. Especially against Trophy Hunter. I should probably have the big pigs in the back. Me and the Horde Dragon. Maximize Tree of Life. Do not know when the new patch is coming out. <laughs> Loki Mage's game was uh, a bit wacky. Not usually what you go for on Loki, but sometimes it just comes together. Money worth before the SF nerf. Hey man. Why do you think they're nerfing SF? Unit's good. Tapping to SF. That's no longer going to interact with Echo Wood. It's going to be a static ability like a Storm King. Or at least that's what they're testing in the beta branch. 